on line 13, I'm calling the chat completion dot create method and passing my model and the messages array. Consider this, you have an AWS Lambda function and now you want to integrate it with ChatGPT's API. Can you do this in a few steps using the Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then navigate to the configuration tab. Click on environment variables in the left menu, then hit edit. Here, I'm going to add an environment variable called API underscore key. To get the value, let's head to the OpenAI website where I'm logged in as myself. Click on the personal dropdown in the top right corner, then choose view API keys. Click on create new secret key, give it a name, then hit the create button. Copy the secret key, paste it in the value text box, then hit save. Next, click on general configuration in the left menu, then hit edit. Here, I'm going to increase the timeout value for my Lambda function to 20 seconds then hit save. Now that our functions configuration is all set, let's head to the code source tab. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. The code starts by importing the OpenAI and the OS module. Inside my Lambda handler, I'm first grabbing my API key from the environment variable, then setting the location variable to New York, New York. On line eight, I'm defining the messages array. For the first element, I'm setting the role as system and asking it to be a helpful assistant. For the second message, I'm setting the role as user and asking the system to tell me an interesting fact about New York, New York in less than 200 characters. On line 13, I'm calling the chat completion dot create method and passing my model and the messages array. On line 15, I'm extracting the response in the GPT underscore response variable. And on line 17, I'm constructing an HTML underscore output variable with my chat GPT response. Finally, on line 24, I'm returning my HTML output as part of the body and setting the content type as text slash HTML so my Lambda output can be rendered as an HTML page. Hit deploy to save your changes, then click on test and invoke to execute your Lambda function. Looks like OpenAI module is not available in the current execution environment. To fix this, let's head to the Cloud9 service. Click on create environment, give it a name, then let's leave everything else to their default values. Hit create, click on open Cloud9 IDE, then click on the AWS icon in the left menu. Go inside your AWS region, then find the Lambda function that we just created. Right click and download the ChatGPT function in the current directory, then head to the bash terminal. Run the ls or the list command to confirm that you see a new folder for your chat GPT function. Then execute the cd or the change directory command to go inside it. Type pip3 install openai followed by hyphen hyphen target and a period. This is telling the Python installer to install the OpenAI module in the current directory. Give it some time for the installation to complete, then run the ls command to confirm that you see OpenAI and all its dependencies installed in the current directory. Now that all of our function dependencies are installed, let's right click on our Lambda function, then click on Upload Lambda. Choose directory for step one, then select the zip option for step two. Next, 
Select the ChatGPT Lambda function folder, click on open, then hit yes. Give it a few seconds for the upload process to complete, then head back to the Lambda window. Hit refresh, head to the test tab, then click on test to invoke your Lambda function. Looks like our Lambda function timed out. I'm going to increase my timeout setting to 40 seconds, then try again. This time, our Lambda function seems to have worked as expected. Next, let's see how our Lambda output looks like in a web browser. Head back to the Configuration tab, choose Function URL, then click on the Create button. Choose Authentication Type of None, hit Save, then confirm that you see a Function URL attached to your Lambda function. Click on the Function URL to open it in a browser, then confirm that you see an interesting fact about New York, New York. If I hit Refresh a bunch of times, you should see the interesting fact change every time. There you have it. And if you want to learn how to make your Lambda functions run faster, check out this video right here.